back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Uh, today, I am kind of going back to the old school roots. Um, I haven't, this isn't really a Dutch pour, but it's kind of like a Dutch pour. It's a chaos Dutch pour. So I'm basically going to pour colors all over the canvas and use my blow dryer to blow it out. Now, I haven't really used a blow dryer for my paintings in a long time. Not, not counting the blooms because they're that's a separate technique, but just having chaos and blowing out paint like a Dutch pour, I haven't done that since probably two years ago. Um, because when I started my channel, that's what I started with was Dutch pours. I think kind of everybody starts there because it's nice and thin paint and you're just blowing paint around. So, but um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to do today. It's funny because Mina did something similar this past Wednesday, and had I known, we could have done it together, but oh well. Anyways, so let's get down to the canvas, get started. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So what I'm doing, I'm repurposing a 24 by 30 canvas and I'm using a really beautiful color palette. It's kind of a go-to palette. I like these colors. As you know, my last few videos, I've been playing a lot with phthalo green. So I love phthalo green and what it mixes with. So this is Creative Inspirations and Payne's Gray. This here is turquoise from Pebio Studio Acrylics mixed with some neon green artist loft to give me a nice little aqua green color. I've got my um, phthalo green from Soho. This is phthalo blue, another color that goes great with the uh, Payne's gray and phthalo green. I've got titanium white, touch of satin enamels in it, reflex green from Amsterdam, and some 24 karat gold from DecoArt. Now, like I said, it's been a hot minute since I played with my blow dryer in a Dutch pour fashion. Uh, I've been playing with blooms with a uh, blow dryer, but not thin paints like this. So what I wanna do is um, I'll show you a painting that I did back early, early, early when I started my career in fluid art and started my channel. And I did a lot of, um, started off with Dutch pours really, but I did a lot of chaos blowouts. Um, and I thought I would just try this color palette using those same colors. So I've painted my sides and edges with my paints gray. Um, that way, hopefully this red won't show through and I won't get those transparent edges. So what I'm going to do is I will pour out here some paints gray along the edges. That way when I blow out the paint, it's going to spread over the sides equally. A lot of you have said, hey, your volume is sounding a little different. Well, I got a cordless mic. some of this turquoise turquoise and phthalo green love phthalo green lately and I'm choosing not to put down a base coat because I don't want a base coat to be the primary color here. So I'm just going to use all my colors to kind of fill in and blend. So I want colors to be prominent in this. I'm going to be careful on how much white I add here. Reflex green. And I'm going to be careful with the gold as I put a big blob down in the center. There 
I said I'm going to be careful with the gold, and what do I do? I put a lot of gold down. Ay, ay, ay. Um. All right, let's see what this does with the blowout. Now, again, I haven't played with this blow dryer in a while, so this should be very interesting. That's really cool. Now, I tell you what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to put this on the vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the angle of the camera and turn the canvas and see what I've got. All right. So this I really, really love. It's very chaotic. It's selling up like crazy. Something that I've noticed that will happen with creative inspiration paints, they react and make cells when you use them in conjunction with other colors. So for instance, this white has got just a touch of satin enamels in it. And so it with the uh, Payne's gray is really, really reacting. It's also reacting really well with the reflex green. I tell you what, I'm in love with this. Um, the only thing that didn't happen is a couple of my edges didn't get completely covered. So I can take what's left on my table because I don't really want to blow anymore because I got some great effects through this. Just wonderful. So I'm going to clean up my edges. I'll get the, the corners and stuff fixed and then I'll bring you guys down. All right, here we are with the wet result. The lights are off, so hopefully you'll be able to see these colors really well. Sometimes it gets a little muted. If not, I'll put the studio lights back on. But I love the cells that's happening. I love the chaos of this. It's really beautiful. All right, we'll see this when it's dry. 
All right, here we are with the dried result. This is so beautiful. The paint's gray with that reflex green, just awesome. Let me bring you close. everyone that is it so this is the piece and boy did it dry just fantastic I love this reflex green I love the paints gray and how make it how it makes it dark and moody the phthalo blue mixing in there just fantastic what do you guys think of the piece let me know in the comments also what do you think about the piece do you think it deserves resin do you think it deserves Liquitex gloss varnish? Let me know what you think in the comments as well. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget, head over to my new website, studio15acrylics.com. You can go to the shop there and purchase some paintings. I'm getting things slowly added to it, so. All right, everyone, have a great rest of the weekend. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.